Hey guys, I'm back again with strategy number three on my shifting focus series with Crunchy Supermom. Uh, I wanted to talk about mindset, which is a lot different than vision and priorities, which is what I talked about in strategy number two. Um, having the Supermom mindset can increase your resilience. It doesn't necessarily, well, let me back up. Supermom is a mindset. It's not an action figure. It's not an unattainable vision of some like supermom that society kind of pressures moms into being, if that makes sense. The supermom mindset is totally different. Because there's no one right way to be a super mom. It's all about your version of what you want your life to be. And everyone else's version is going to be different. And you can reject outside pressures of, about something that you don't want to be, if that makes sense. So like Pinterest is not my favorite place to hang out because of course I'm going to go to Pinterest and think that everything that I do for decoration, which is nothing, I don't hang things on the wall. If I go to Pinterest I'm going to start judging myself and comparing myself and Pinterest is going to say, well, this is a perfectly decorated home. And then I start second guessing my own vision of myself, right? So your goals have to fit your uh, vision and your mindset needs to be sound. Okay. And one of the best things I can say about our upcoming situation with the fall and everything that's going to happen with the school year is this. The virus is going to exist. It's probably going to continue circulating, but life has to go on. And so instead of talking about how things used to be and wishing for things to go back the way they used to be, and just basically spending your life in the past instead of in, in, in the moment, and also just even thinking about the future, I'm encouraging you to start thinking about digging your heels in and developing like a grit mindset of stuff's got to get done. It's just got to get done. Life's got to continue. You got to be a mom. You got to get up and you have to feed your kids. You're going to have to figure the homeschooling thing out and you're not alone. I mean, that's the cool part. You know, there's a lot of people who have chosen to homeschool their kids and work from home and do all kinds of hard things for various reasons that apply just to their family. There's never been a time in history where everybody is making the same hard decisions, like the same hard decisions to either forego an income or work at home part-time, half-time, reduce their benefits, whatever the case may be, and also feeling like they're being forced to homeschool. There's never been a time where a majority of, this, of, of our society has been forced to make these decisions. So you're not alone and there's a lot of us here who are willing to support you in it. So I guess this is like that kick in the pants. I'm not going to give you a hug and tell you like, I'm sorry that everything's stressful and this really sucks because it is, it does. It kind of does, but we can get over it. We need to get over it because the, the fall is coming. It's right around the corner and we can't change the outcome of whatever is going to happen. We can't truly avoid getting the virus if we're going to get it. I mean, we can try, but eventually it's going to catch up to us. And so why do you want to spend every day of your life stressed out and upset about the past, upset about the future, worried, confused? Instead, sit down, make a plan for the future and change your mind mindset. I almost cursed right there. <laughs> change your mindset and start getting stuff done. I was about to say, you know, that best word. Um, so for me, like being a super mom means a lot of things, but it mostly pertains to my mindset and my attitude because when there's a problem that I don't, I don't like, and my family is faced with something that we don't enjoy, we just problem solve and we kind of dig in and deal with it. And I know that sounds really heartless, right? But you, you have to, you have to do something about it. So I want you to think about your mindset. Okay. Do you currently believe that you are resilient? Do you currently see yourself as a super mom? Why don't you believe that you can homeschool and work from home or deal with whatever is about to come in the, in the fall? Why do you believe that you can't do that? Have you not gone through worse stuff? I mean, yes, I, I guarantee that there's never been anything this like huge in our lifetime, but have you not gone through hard stuff? Have you not lost a loved one? Have you not had to just like pull up your 
britches and go back to work the next day after something hard happened. I mean, this is on the grand scale of things. Yes, it's bigger, but it's really not that different. So mindset is key. Let's look at the grit. Okay. I'm a grit stuff done kind of girl, and I'm here to support you in that. So who could handle changing their mindset? Who could really change how they're, they're looking at the future? I think we all could, right? I'm over it. I'm over being worried about it. I'm over like wishing for the past to come back and be the, the future of the present. It's not going to happen. So I do see myself as a super mom because of my attitude. I do not have a cleaner house than you do, or maybe at the moment. I don't know. I do not uh, cook better than you do. I do not homeschool better than you do. I just have maybe homeschooled longer than some of you. I don't do anything better than you do. I just have an attitude of, I can do this. I want to help you with that. 